Five levels of fruitfulness. There is the first level, no fruit. Second level, where there is fruit. Third level, more fruit. Fourth, much fruit. Five, fruit that remains. And God wants always for us to go from one level to another, one level to another. One of the ways we go from one level to another is through pruning, is through pruning. God cannot produce more fruit without pruning. When we are pruned, God can produce more fruit. You must understand something about pruning is that when your life is pruned, you can see more people come to Jesus. Like a rose, like a garden or like a vineyard. Many times the life that comes from the vine not only goes to produce fruit, but it goes to produce shoots that grow really high but they don't produce any fruit. The shoots are not bad. These branches, they're not horrible, but they're not why the branch exists in the first place. And what the good husbandman would do is he would take scissors and trim the shoots, not cut them completely, but trim them so that the fruit will have more sap and more energy and more juices to be produced. Trim it so that what's really important can have more energy to be produced. We can see one person getting saved, two people getting saved, but if we really want to see more people getting saved, sooner or later, you and I will have to trim the success and the mission of our life and line it up to the one of Jesus. What does a trimming mean? That means you redefine what success looks like for you so it will match what success looked like for Jesus. When your success is to grow a long shoot instead of produce a beautiful rose, your success definition is different and it needs to be trimmed. Where you define the success of your life not based on the size of your chest, biceps, triceps or the size of your rings or the size of your paycheck or how handsome, beautiful or the make and model of your car or the, who designs your clothes but where you define success and how many people are coming to Jesus and being discipled and everything else serves that purpose. We must redefine our success and trim our life so that our focus will have opportunity to grow. In the churches where everything is done, all the programs are functioning and then there's the evangelism program. Evangelism doesn't work like that. People don't get saved if evangelism is one of the things we do. People get saved if evangelism is the only thing we do and everything else builds for it. Bringing people to Jesus will never work in your life if it's one of the things that you do when you have free time and the desire. Evangelism will only work if it's the main thing and everything else works for it. When school, college and working out and going to Starbucks and hanging out, all of that works toward one goal. And Jesus says, I see you producing fruit. I want more fruit from you. But I cannot give you one more hour to your clock to you, for you to produce fruit. Because I see your schedule is busy. I see your budget is busy. Everything is busy. I cannot add anything of my grace. We got to start trimming some things for you to have more fruit. Most of us, what we want to do is this. is We want God to add one more hour to our day we want God to add one more thousand to our budget and then we'll have enough time and opportunity to reach out to people but most of the time that's not how it's going to happen it's the Lord who's going to be trimming things in our life